Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Two more floors to go? Are you excited? I am because this place has been quite difficult. <laughs> Alright, so we got... Is this another swamp layout? Doesn't look like... well, maybe it is. Kind of. But we got a lot of dweevils here, but they won't really do much unless we bug them. <laughs> so let's not bug them, and let's get... Oh, oh, fine, I'll separate them one more time here. I just want to get the blues, because i got to go through some water. And, oh, of course a purple got in there too. <laughs> Alright, let's move on here. And see what awaits us. Ooh, Anno Dweevil. Oh, you've got the treasure, don't you? Just because you are the one that kills Pikmin instantly. Uh, what about you? Or is there something around here that's, uh... What? Huh? Hold on a sec. What's... What's beeping over here? Did the... Did the floor generate something... In the ground, underwater? Because if so, I can't complete this... Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's, there's something weird going on here. <laughs> Okay, so we got uh, <laughs> beady long legs there, and we most likely have to deal with it with the blues based off this floor layout. So I just want to actually get all the other dweevil. Well, maybe I don't have to deal with the other dweevils. They're just so cute. I can't, I can't kill them this this easily. <laughs> okay, I want to do this. I only got blues to deal with it really. Yeah, but it's not like it's a difficult boss or anything like that, it's just a matter of being careful. Just gotta watch its tootsies. Just gotta watch its tootsies. And stay right underneath it. Just keep watching its tootsies. Keep watching its tootsies. Got it? Good. The key is the tootsies. <laughs> don't attack its tootsies. <laughs> uh, as you can tell, since you don't have yellows, to be able to attack it while it's up high like that. What you gotta do is you gotta wait for it to go rawr, rawr, down low like that. Uh, I'm thinking about using a spray here. Just to speed things along. It's not difficult or anything like that, it's just a matter of uh, getting things eh, nice and quick, I guess you could say. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Keep watching the tootsies! <laughs> Always watch the tootsies, not the body. Until it stops moving, at least. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Thank you, Spray! Alright, get on that gyro block. And get it back to home base. Oh no, don't you dare carry it. No, you guys are not allowed to carry the block. Oh! <laughs> well, now I see what they're here for. Because <laughs> you gotta carry stuff past them, and they're gonna keep bugging you. Um... Okay, so we gotta take care of some of these at least. Probably those four and that yellow one over there, you know, the Anal Devil. So, what can we get away with here? Uh, I could probably use purples and wipe them all out rapidly. Yeah. Yep, in the water, I know. <laughs> Come on, get up there, get up there. There we go. Shake yourself off, you're good. <laughs> As long as I keep blowing them back when they're in the water, it's not that big of a deal. It's just, uh, yeah. See that? Then you just save them when they go back in the when they go in the water like that. Just speed things along like that. Uh, oh! <laughs> okay, I don't mind if you carry someone else, as long as it's not the treasure that I'm aiming for. Alright, so blues. Blues for you. I not I <laughs> just don't trust. And no dweevils. Maybe I can sneak some yellows across here. Because um, if I if I get them in the water and then run around, I mean run across across quick enough, they will um, they will end up. Like, like watch us. If I get them in the water and then call them back over to this side, keep calling them, keep calling them, keep calling them. See that? You can actually make them swim across there. It's a pretty handy little trick, but uh, if it's not going to come onto the land here, and if it's just going to stick around there, that's, that's kind of an issue. Maybe I should captain it up. <laughs> yeah! 
You can't harm me, I've got an eraser on my suit! I probably should've just did that all along. This one, however, can't hurt me. Oh! <laughs> got nicked by it, okay, whatever. And now I'm gonna make- oh, actually, I don't have to make him swim across, I can just leave him there, and then when I leave the floor, I will, um, they'll automatically come with me. Okay, good. That makes me happy. <laughs> Because it's kind of kind of risky to get Pikmin across water like that. I mean, I'm going to take a quick run through of the room just to make sure I didn't miss anything. I'm pretty sure I didn't. But yeah, that was quite the surprise there. Um, when the treasure wouldn't appear and I was worried that it would be underground or generated underground or something like that. But no! BD long legs pops out of nowhere. Fun, the gyro block. Alright, floor is complete. So let's get out of here. And the final floor has a unique boss. Oh yes. Oh, did they all just go in the water? I hope they didn't drown. <laughs> no, they won't, because we, we exited the floor. Uh, the floor 15, sub, uh, sub level 15, has a very cool boss, but it's extremely easy. <laughs> First, let's, you know, open up the way as we usually do, just to speed things along for the future. And uh, we can pretty much take it on with any color of Pikmin. I'll probably end up doing purples just because they're they do the most damage and whatnot. Uh, so yeah, let's knock that down. There we go. And let's here. Oh, that was pretty good. You just gotta get the Pikmin together. T oh, there's still one leaf in there. You gotta get the Pikmin together relatively tight uh, for that to work. Uh, and then, e, 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 oh, oh shoot! He jumped over me, and I ended up drinking the spray. <laughs> oh well, not that I need to do the double spray thing anymore, anyway. But anyway, um, jelly floats. There it is. It's called Raging Long Legs. Yeah, it's. It's like beady long legs, except it's got these very funny looking tootsies with hair and yeah, it's it's actually extremely easy. Like very, very easy. You'll see uh, when we get into this. Um, as a matter of fact, it doesn't really attack Pikmin <laughs> unless you attack it. So it's not a big deal at all. And you're not I'm not directly under it, so it's not gonna be able to suck up a captain. You know, the greater spotted jelly float here. There we go. So I could just take on the jelly floats while uh, while raging with raw long legs just does its peaceful little dance in there. <laughs> It'll just do its thing, no big deal. It's just hanging around, looking cool. That is one of the coolest looking bosses in the game, I have to say. You know, raging long legs. Come on, get get away from raging long legs. I just, well, actually, you're okay over there. Just as long as. Uh, I can attack you away from it. I don't have to worry about its tootsies. Uh, you'll you'll see why it's called Raging Long Legs soon enough, though. Oh no! Don't 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 attack it. Don't. We're not ready to show it off yet. <laughs> there we go. Wah! Such beauty in its doom. Hey, anyway, where's? Where did I lose one? Where's? Yeah, where is one? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's take this down. Yeah, I win. Oh, I said I win. I win. There we go. <laughs> Just give up already. I win. Okay. See, yeah, I got 83 out of 84. Where's, where's the other one? <laughs> oh, how did you get way back there? I thought. Hmm. I don't know. But anyway, what I'm gonna do here is, as I said, get the purples. And let's start attacking it. You know the strategy for the long legs. You just attack its body. Uh, because it hangs so low to the ground, um, its its body is, you know, it's, it's really, it's very easy to hit. And now watch, just wait for it to shake them off, or going to shake them off, and then call them back. And then immediately run away. Go, 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 go. And this is why it's called Raging Long Legs, because it does these super quick stomps here. That would be pretty difficult to avoid if you were directly underneath it like the other uh, long leg strategy that I use, but it's not uh, its not a big deal at all, as you can tell. Uh, oh, oh, I had it right there, and I would have been fine. Uh, but yeah, as you can tell, this is an incredibly easy boss, because it's just, it's just so, so slow. 
<laughs> um, I'm going to do this, just to give it a better look of its stuff. And now it's going to do its thing. It's going to try and rotate IC, and I'm going to call him off just to be safe. Look how easy this is. Isn't that easy? <laughs> it, it looks so, so much more threatening than it actually is. Come on, just do a, do some nice slow movements. Okay, you're going to move over there. You can move those legs like that. Again, you got to watch the tootsies. Oh, 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 oopsie. <laughs> I lost one there. I tried to, tried to thread the needle there. That was my own fault. Because I got a little impatient. So I shall take that loss. Okay, I want to go in between the legs that are not moving, basically. And throw Pikmin up to it. There we go. Going to shake him off. Yeah, I thought so. And run. <laughs> go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, even the, the leaf green Pikmin, uh, leaf uh, purple Pikmin are too slow, I mean, too quick for raging long legs. Oh, yeah, it's doing another walking cycle, so that means it's not going to uh, shake off the Pikmin just yet. There we go. So it should only take one more for victory. La, 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 la. Do, 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 do. And you'll also notice that uh, when you damage it, its body actually starts to crumble away. See how you can see, uh, ooh, see how you can see through its feet onto the ground below? Yep. Uh, that's the same with other uh, long leg enemies, but it's more prominent on this one because, you know, it's so dang large. <laughs> okay, wipe it out, wipe it out. By the way, I think it recovers its own HP, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh, this is going to be good. Very good. And we get, sure enough, Rob's head. <laughs> and it also crumbles into dust. Well, not Rob's head, I mean uh, uh, long legs, raging long legs. Alright, seems like we are done with this place. Sweet! We just gotta wait for them to take it back, which could kind of take a while because it got all purples on that. Maybe we should speed this up a little bit here. <laughs> there we go, let's get some other colors on that. Now we're moving! <laughs> and wow, this sunlight! Really, really bright! Looks realistic though. You know, with how uh, cameras, you know, blow out highlights like that. Like when you go over here and you come into here, it actually changes the highlights. Isn't that neat? Alright! Cave complete! I hope. <laughs> Remembered old buddy. Get it? R-O-B. <laughs> and there we go. Cave. Hopefully complete. <laughs> Let's see. Will the cave be complete? It better be complete. Because this one... Whew, that was pretty difficult. <laughs> Alright, yeah, it looks like it's complete because the number, I mean the second number at the upper right corner already appeared. Uh, because they only tell you the, the number of treasures on the in the cave after you've gotten all the treasures in the cave. So, yep, cave 100%ed, which pleases me greatly. Now, there's only one above-ground treasure and one cave left of the Wistful Wild. Oh, yeah. That's is what we call nice progress. I probably could have done the whole remaining area in in this day right here, but I didn't plan it out perfectly, so there was some um, so there was some slowness to my strategy, I guess you could say. Oh, the whites! <laughs> oh, the whites! At least they're still above one, uh, 100 uh, purple Pikmin. And yellow's in. Now we're gonna take a take a run through the place, uh, just to show you what I have left here. Uh, just with one captain, just because. So over here on this side, um, well actually I could go to the right first uh, because uh, I, I can show you this whole planning thing because I know there's a drop off point over on this side here. Uh, so anyway. This grew... Oh, wait, I didn't take this out, did I? Okay, that kind of explains a lot. I thought it, was, I thought it grew back already. Um, over here, we have... The Pinecone. 
which we gotta grab. And then, uh, over here, down off to this side, we already completed this cave, we already been through here. Um, and we go down and around this way, and behind this poison gate, well actually we could, we could reach that cave another way, is the final dungeon of the game. Oh yeah! So this place is almost done. Tomorrow will be the last day. And wait, you're back? You're back! You're not supposed to be back, I took the treasure from you. <laughs> Guess it always comes back, like those skitter leaves at the perplexing pool. Woo! Oh yeah! And let's see. Oh, ooh, Gatling drunk, you have returned. Wow, that's a that's a lot of dangerous enemies at home base there. <laughs> Good lord! I'm glad we're leaving for the day. <laughs> Results. Well, reports. Reports count as results. <laughs> Look at those treasures! The Doomsday Apparatus, 3,000! Just because of how long it takes, the kind of Pikmin that you need to grab it with, you know, the, the 100 purple Pikmin. Yeah, that's far higher than other treasures. Like, Lustrous Element there is 1,000, that's a gold coin of all things. <laughs> And let's see the damage! Oh no! Yeah, three down overall. Well, I guess that's not that bad. Purple's lost by seven, white's lost by three, and blue's lost by seven. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's not too bad. I still have plenty to finish this game with. So, yeah. Email! Louie, are you eating well? Oh, you when you were a boy, you were quite skinny, so I made you clean your plate. Be sure to cook suspicious food before eating it. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.